Welcome back to week number seven, year number three of the DGBFL featuring the MOKC Bison. Now, this week is kind of an interesting one. We had a massive trade where we had a proposal for Jamar Chase, and I'm going to be honest. At first, I said no, but then I said, honestly, I'm going to go ahead and take that. We traded Jamar Chase, a 99 overall, 25-year-old receiver who we've used a decent amount, but not a ton. For Marvin Mims, a 23-year-old, 85 overall, superstar dev receiver, a 2026 first-round draft pick, a 2027 first-round draft pick, and a 2027 second-round draft pick. I feel pretty good about that. Now, if you look at our current draft pick situation, we have Sacramento's draft pick. We also have San Antonio's draft pick, which we just acquired, and then we have our draft pick. We currently have three in the first round this year, and then if you look in the next year, that now gives us two in the first round next year. We are in a situation where potentially if one of these falls in that sort of top five situation, we could trade one of them, trade back in the first round, get a first rounder for next year, and have three first rounders next year. So I kind of like how we set ourselves up. And yes, I totally get it. Losing Jamar Chase is going to be a massive blow to this team, but I still think we're going to be fine. Marvin Mims, 92 speed, 94 acceleration. He's got pretty good route running across the board. Not as good as Jamar Chase, obviously, but still pretty good. Quinn Johnson is back and healthy. We have Jarvis Horn, we have DJ Chark, we have Jalen Guyton. We have a decently good wide receiver core. Could we add to it in the offseason? Yeah. Could we still make a trade next week with a trade deadline coming up? We absolutely could. Maybe I already have my eye on somebody. You never know. Now, before the game, Lamar comes to us and says, it looks like it's going to be raining for the entirety of this game. Uh, it won't take long for conditions to get pretty sloppy. So what do we plan on doing? Running the ball, passing the ball. I'm still going to try to pass the ball a little bit. I think it's really where we can really get the ball uh, moving around the most. Why does Geno look crazy right now? That's wild. So our goal here is beat the Wizards, rack up 300 plus passing yards. Sometimes when Madden says it's raining, it isn't. Sometimes when they say it's not going to rain, it does. So who knows? Now for the team we're playing this week, it'll be the London Wizards and they have the best defense in the league from a rating standpoint. 92 overall from a defensive standpoint is crazy already. Sauce Gardner, Miles Garrett, Kenneth Walker on offense, Dexter Lawrence, Tyson Campbell, Trey Smith, Josh Allen, Trayvon Walker. Just looking at his defensive line, you're kind of seeing why I said we're not going to be running the football this week. At quarterback, he does have a little bit of an Achilles heel, even though I just tore mine. We're still going to bring up that reference. Tyler Huntley is good, not great, but he's a very talented user. He can get the job done, but not a great throw power for him. So we'll see how that kind of works out for him. But Kenneth Walker being the guy is really the alpha for that team. I expect him to run him and run him a lot. His wide receiver core, Kadarius Tony. Then it kind of drops off in quality a little bit more. Traquan Smith, Nico Collins, Tom Baker, Cascade Valley alum, by the way. Uh, Anthony Schwartz, who is disgusting and will probably be a top three receiver for him just because he's crazy fast. Hess, and then Demario Douglas in a tight end. He's got Sam Laporta, who's a stud, and Kate Auden. Don't sleep on him. As for a secondary, again, Sauce Gardner, Tyson Campbell. Then there's a steep drop off here. But again, if you have two guys that are 97 overall and higher, it kind of makes sense for some guys to be not so great after. Then a free safety, we have Trey Hawkins. And then a strong safety, we have Deshaun Elliott again. This is the most talented defense in the league, bar none. Now, players of the week for week number six, of course, the guy we're getting ready to play ran for 209 rushing yards, three rushing touchdowns, seven receptions for 90 yards. So we have our work cut out for us in terms of stopping him. Then we have Tredavious White going for seven tackles, two interceptions, and a touchdown over there for the Condors. Herbert for the Armadillos goes for 504 passing yards, six passing touchdowns, and then Emmanuel Forbes of the Dreadnoughts, three tackles, two interceptions. Who says the Dreadnoughts don't play defense? They did right there. He is pressing a little bit. He is sauce. So like he I, get, I think he's realizing like I don't have I don't have like some elite Jamar Chase out there. So he's like, I, I can I can kind of press him. Whoa, DJ, are you kidding me? DJ, let's go. Okay, let's get Desmond Mims in. Or Marvin Mims in. Okay, I didn't have the guy that we just traded for him at receiver, so that's not good. I had B open there, dang it. Had to play defense there. He probably plays this super well. I can't believe he jumped that. That's crazy. All right, we'll take the field goal. He's in zone like nonstop. I'm realizing 12 mile an hour wins to the uh, left. That is kind of scary. Didn't impact that a ton, but that's a pretty insane win. There we go. Stop. All right, so we played pretty good defense there. He had a pretty long drive, but we're going to hold him to potentially a field goal, assuming he kicks this one. Wind is blowing a little bit. Oh. Okay, I'm here for that. Oh. 
boy. I really thought he was going to try to do something. I wanted him to fumble off that. All right, last time he lined up for a field goal, it went off the goalposts. And uh, this time, I think it's going to be pretty good. So right down the middle, that one's good. We got a tie game. This has been a weird game. How many passes can be dropped? He didn't even touch that one. We caught a pass. Okay. Give me a block. There we go. What was that juke move? <laughs> <laughs> Big first down. Most athletic defensive lineman I've ever seen. Oh my god, Quinn Johnson held on to a ball? <laughs> oh, the like stuff he's defensive lineman can do is insane. Marvin? Let's go. Big route. Big route. Big route. Yep, we'll take that. That's what I wanted to force a turnover and need at least a field goal on this. Let's go. This is scary. Had to risk one. I I have to run away immediately because he's got guys on both sides pressuring. There we go, Jarvis. Use the timeout. Perfect. Save the timeout, too. Massive play. Massive play right there. What a dot by Lamar. Ooh, Kenneth Walker has his uh, X Factor. I'm Madden. I swear to God, that is a user pick if they would just animate. I am there. That is a user pick. I've done that a thousand times in this game. Man, we got to get him out of his X Factor. Outside runs. Good run. I'm trying to knock that ball loose. Pause. He's got a dot right here if he throws it. My guys would not go get the quarterback. Good play. I know he's going to dink and dunk to some sideline. And even though I had two invert hard flat where somebody is supposed to be there, they weren't there. So. Run. Lord. Big play. Come on, Isaiah. Man, a touchdown run would have been so great right there. I want to keep that, but I'm so afraid of fumbling with Lamar right now. They did him with that. Quinn Johnson, it's good to have you back, man. It is good to have you back. Good run, Wilbur. Quinn Johnson having a game, man. Oh, that should have held turbo. If I don't hold turbo, that's a 10 yard run. I. That could have been a pick. That could have and should have been a pick. Fight for your Brad Wilbur. You haven't had a ton of carries. You don't have great yards, but you are important to this scene. Let's go, Devontae. Get off of him. Let's go, Devontae. And Trey McBride gets hurt. How? Jarvis Horn held on to it. Let's go. Big adjustment. Big adjustment. It was risky. Had to try it. All right, see if we can kick a field goal here. Ooh, this is going to be close. 
I think we got enough. Yeah, we got enough. I'll take it. All around great effort there. Hey, look, this is a really tough game. Our opponent had only lost one game the entire season. We had lost one, but also tied one, which is embarrassing. I don't want to talk about it. But this is how I expected our team to play. Offensively, we were great. Defensively, we had some issues. But overall, we held him to 10. That is one of the best teams overall in the entire league. And we honestly played really well. Now, we needed to throw for 300 yards with Lamar. We obviously didn't get that. We threw for 290. But I would still take a very clean victory. 17 for 29. It was a little rough early on. Where everybody was dropping passes. But when they finally called passes, four touchdowns, 45 yarder included in that over 290 yards i'm here for it on the ground wilbur didn't have a game that we probably maybe wanted him to have but 69 yards hashtag nice is still going to be enough kenneth walker getting hurt wasn't the reason they lost but it didn't help them when they were trying to come back in the very end of that game but really i'm pretty happy that we stopped kenneth walker he's been running for 200 plus yards against a lot of people and the fact that we held him which would have probably been roughly around 100 today if he had stayed in the game i'm here for it also big shout out to isaiah robinson who absolutely killed it five for 60 yards he had some great change of pace runs today in the air quinn johnson comes back this week six grabs 106 yards two touchdowns no jamar chase no problem at least for now Kadarius tony balled out a little bit jarvis horn got a touchdown and our guy where's he at marvin mims he only caught two balls today but he got a touchdown and i'm here for it defensively jamel dean led us with six total tackles cj gardner johnson was there as well not a single sack on tyler huntley kind of hurt us but two picks one by jeremy harris one by nate hobbs really changed the trajectory of this game and if our defense can keep locking up like this i feel really good about our chances but still it's a lot to clean up but for now another victory to the win column i'm not mad at that at all be safe be smart tell somebody you love them catch you guys on the next one